It is <laughs> undeniably funny. It, uh, tell me, in Sonic of, in, in Spider-Man 2, was Ragdoll not funny? Oh, no, it is. I, f I found two, f well, one thanks to Matt, and one I found the other day that was just pure fucking perfection. The moment it was lo too good. The moment Logan learned that there's a toggle for Ragdoll in that game. Yay! Once you get to... Once you do Spider-Man 2, Logan, I'll send you those clips. Oh boy, okay. Sonic, how you feeling? Cause they're, they're gonna, they're gonna make you laugh your shit off. You again? Submit. Your reckless actions endanger the world. No, they don't. Care to explain how saving my friends is a bad thing? You are an enemy combatant. I will not share data with you. What is wrong? Stubborn. With you? Amy, Sonic get her down here and everyone. feed her soap. <laughs> kind of little. Huh. An emotional status too vague and buried in its definition. That's the Sonic fan base, actually. <laughs> you are both too ignorant to be helped. Well, to, uh, ta ta to you too, then. What was that girl? Aside from being a pain, no clue. Yeah, she's unfortunately playing hard to get, cause you know. I'm sure the fanbase already knows what her deal is by this point, but we'll just play it up for the sake of suspense. Okay, so I gotta find more memory tokens and probably find a couple more gears while I'm at it, so... I'm sure we're gonna get the answer relatively soon. As soon as, like, you know, with how much you've been collecting all across the across the, uh, the island so far, it's only a matter of time before we get the answer. Hopefully! Yep. Oh, I forgot that you jump automatically. I, I always thought I had to... I was thinking, like, Ratchet and Clank, where I have to hold the... Why did you do this? I always thought... I, I, I thought <laughs> Sonic, I had to why do you do this to me? I thought I had to hold the direction jump, and now you just flick, and bam. Wee. Yep. No, Can't you don't! Away. How? <laughs> How? And why? Indeed. I promise Maybe. I like this game. Again, I do think, I still think for what it's worth, this is a great foundation, like, this is a strong foundation for future games to follow, and I hope to God they stick with it this time. Well, would be nice. But it's also a matter of, like, there's still a lot that needs to be changed up or properly fixed. Well, correction, indeed. No, you don't. Like, there. how grinding, I mean, grinding works is one Jeez. thing, but, like, there's definitely some, you know, like most 3D Sonic games, there's still some jank with its physics here and there that could be addressed. I'd say I'd honestly still say the combat in general kind of needs to either be nerfed or retooled to be something a little more uh, quick and freeform. There. And also, I mean, a little more. I guess what am I about? Give us more freedom with slopes. I think that because like when you like because especially when you start off the game like like especially like some of the, there's definitely a lot of terrain that Sonic's obviously not supposed to run up to or you know slide up. Oh, hello. And last we meet, Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, you're older than I thought. Uh, I don't think we met. Uh, actually, you want someone, someone else take over for the Hermit? Uh, Hype, you want to be him? Yes, like the Coco, you have touched the digital dream. Unlike most, I know how to listen to it and hear of its secrets. To hear it properly, though, I must keep to myself. I don't want to oh. spoil it for all the whiny youngsters out there. It is the path I've chosen. Hmm. <laughs> Seems you've run into that lazy sibling of mine, even though I'm pretty sure we haven't yet. They have awakened yeah, the yeah, not yet. Not yet. You, even more life oh, you know adapt. what? You know what? Maybe it's just because, like, Sonic, like, we're playing on the New Game Plus file and, you know, our stats are more or less maxed out, so it reads as though we have talked to the Elder already. Maybe. Yeah, that's probably what happened. Well, I'll, I'll meet with Elder Coco later. Uh, anyway. But I can do a better job of balancing that energy than he can. What do you say? You see, I am based. You see, I have the dominant uh. roots. <laughs> eh, I'll take all the help I can get. Yeah, unfortunately, it's one of those cases where they don't really let you know, like, who's talking in the middle of these uh, sequences here. So, yeah. what do you want, Sonny Jim? I have Sonny Jim. What else, man? Oh, wait, I already did that part. I'm, I'm happy to have... No, I'm happy to help. So, again, he helps us primarily uh, with... Well, he used to. He would have primarily been the one helping you with your defense and offense. And he also could swap around sp speed to ring and, you know, back and forth. Uh, and these things here were added later to, uh, because I remember when this game first came out mm -hmm. and I spent 15 minutes straight 
leveling up mm-hmm. one at a time at a time at a time up to 99. Doug and I already Damn. tested earlier. It was fucking tedious. Yeah. All right. Here you uh, go. Oh, so my sibling has at least all your talent. Little overachiever, you. Oh, if only we had a hero like you back then, things wouldn't have gone to pot. <laughs> well, I know a time traveler wants to rewrite history when this is over. <laughs> Don't you pull my beard, boy. Life moves I... on with or without us. We found our own ways to endure. And I, perhaps I have lingered too long in this past. I really just want to take the eternal dirt nap because I'm very sleep deprived. Aww. Elder Coco has looked after our kind while I've slept here, wandering the digital dream. We had our time. Now it is your world. Protect it and savor it as we would have. Take care, Sonic. Please come to visit from time to time. I get very lonely. I'm tired <laughs> and return to the dream. Let me rest, child. <sighs> Don't forget to wash behind your ears. So yeah, gosh. this guy would have been a lot more important if we weren't playing on the New Game Plus file, but since we're already maxed out, I mean, we've seen all we really need to with this guy. Um, I do kind of honestly have to wonder, and this is kind of a minor spoiler here, I do kind of wonder what he did look like before he became what he is now. Probably had a big... Because he never touched mu- upon that at all. Probably had a big mustache. <laughs> a big, watery mustache. Let's make you two together and build. Thank you. Nice. Whoa! Easy to fit there, Buster. I'm, I, I, again, like, I... I think the movement, the, the, there's a there's a bit of magnetism to certain like geometry and things that I think makes it very satisfying to do some wacky moves like that. Yeah, but it definitely does feel like it is still running off of a gameplay engine that you know definitely wasn't the best of its kind. Back. I mean, it's not immediately obvious. This is running off of forces. Is all um, the hedgehog uh, too infrastructure. Engine? Yeah. Well, Hedgehog Engine 2 was more like a lighting and graphics engine. I'm talking about, like, the pure gameplay physics. That's true. Just, you know, it was pretty much built off of horses, and that's why it might definitely come across as a herky-jerk here and there. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, it's not, it's been touched up to a point where it's, you know, it's tolerable now, but it's definitely not to the same, it doesn't have that, doesn't quite have that same, for lack of a better word, um... I don't know if I if care would be the right word, but like it, it's not as flexible as say like the adventure games or even like or has that you know edge that the like the uh, uh the it just doesn't have that charm. Yeah, I guess you could put it that way. I think that's fair. I, I'm see. I, listen, I'm still on board with if they ever want to do a HD like revisit to SA one and two. I you know I love that very happen. much. Hey, speaking of SA two, this one yeah, this is uh, oh yeah. Yeah, this is City Escape, isn't it? It is. Or similar enough to Whoa, uh, City Escape. There's definitely this is probably one of the this is probably one of the cyber uh, space tracks I do like. This one's all right. Damn it! Oh yeah, that wasn't gonna work. I'm gonna do this. Hang on. Clearly. What's he I trying to up? do? Uh, th- he's trying to he's trying to pull off an exploit. There it is. There it there is. There you go. There you go. Not high. Right, not high enough. Not high enough. Save you. I'll do that one more time. Yeah, no, that that just keep ver- boosting. That man, that that maneuver is really freaking tricky to pull off. So I mean, props to those that can actually do it. I don't. That's what I was saying. What the fuck? Okay, fine. Let's just let's just spoil the whole reason why I even <laughs> did that trick in the first place. Yeah, that's the that is the power of a homing attack boost, uh, where you are doing a homing attack on someone. Yeah, pretty good. You're doing a homing attack, and then you immediately follow it with a uh, with a boost. Um. That allows you to speed through things very quickly. I will not be doing that every level, though. Just whenever I remember, like, a really fun moment, I'll do it. Fair. Get some keys. Just, again, just don't just don't get too sloppy with your key collecting. They're, they can get pretty... They can be a little stingy if you're, if you're just doing the bare minimum. Fair. Three more needed. Got it. Yeah, if you try to talk to them before you have the amount of tokens necessary, you know, the, the, the great force in the sky will tell you, bitch, you're not ready. 
You are not friends enough to be that close. Like, like is the limit of which your relationship can allow. Whoa, I forgot that sometimes. And that will that will not be as bad now. Wait until the third world. Occasionally, there will be instances where the camera, where a certain section, even though it was built in a 3D world. Oh, crap. Uh, even though it was built in a 3D world. Woo. Um... Sometimes the camera will force itself to um, put it in a, in a certain angle that you were not expecting. Yeah, no, it, it gets pretty bad during the third world, especially. It, that's actually another thing I think really kind of stink. That's another big stinker that they need to just outright remove altogether in the next game. Just force 2D uh, sections. Please, oh my god. Like, if you absolutely need a 2, 2D section in your game that badly, have it be like, have it be like its own little challenge that ha that has absolutely nothing to do with the overworld itself. Oh, hello. Huh, I guess it put me here. Huh, fancy that. So I believe it kept my, uh, checkpoints, so... Now try that again without falling off. Duly noted! But yeah, no, like, I'm just saying, like, with these boss fights in particular, it's like... It's fine to fight them the first time, but doesn't it get kind of tedious after a while finding more of them across the overworld and expecting you to do the same thing? Again, I'm with you. Had there been one... Again, had there been one of those per area, it would have been a little more, you know, tolerable than the same enemy copy-pasted at least two to three times. And it's, and, it's, and it's definitely worse off with, like, some of the bigger threats. Like, especially, like, say, in, like, later on when we deal with the fucking Caterpillar. Oh my gosh, yeah, don't remind me of those ones. There, there are some... There are some mini-bosses that are less fun than others. Less fun in the fact that, you know, there's... You can end up finding more than, like, one... You can find... I don't know if, like, it's a matter of, like, more than one or if it's just the Starfall effect or whatever, but it's, like, one time... Fighting them one time's enough. I agree. Regular enemies, sure, let, let those continue to spawn so you can get, like, you know, level-up chips, but the things that you need... Especially because they know there's a limited number of cyberspace levels, so it's not like we would need more gears after you've unlocked all of them. Just have a finite number of bosses for a finite number of uh, gears required. Or if not that, then maybe just have like the have the portals like assigned to a specific boss. Like they like their destruction is the key to to leaving them open. Yeah, you know, treat it not unlike Shadow of the Colossus, actually. All right, that's another one down. How are you feeling so far, Sam? Doing pretty, pretty good, just vibing and watching. That's fair. Watching and vibing, vibing and watching. Ooh, is that the Coke Rock? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just. It took me like a second to realize what you said. <laughs> Sorry, just wanted to do that for the reaction. I mean, to be fair, we got the piss rock earlier. Oh yeah, the, the the actual fourth chaos emerald that wasn't the fourth one. I only made I that joke been... with Shadow only because that's the emerald that he mainly uses. I thought it was well, the, I mean, we also call the white rock well, the green, uh, something else. Yeah, the else, green one. Yeah, the green one is the one he primarily uses, and then you know the damn the damn fourth chaos emerald. Like most of the times, you, you like, especially like in Shadow Generations, that was like the yellow chaos emerald, which I think was also that in Shadow the Hedgehog. I'd had to look back into that. I don't think it was. Pretty sure it was yellow, but all the no matter. Actually, I think we're coming up to more purple coins. Come on! Yep. Eh. <laughs> no purple coins for you. Fine, I'm going up the I'm going up the hard way. Actually, I think we're coming. We're actually not too far from the uh, portal that'll take us to Big's fishing spot. Yep, we're actually there. Here. Ah, just in time with more purple coins to spare, which is. For those wondering, those per I mean, I guess it should be said, for those that are watching this, and um, I hope you i hope you actually already played this game since we're already, you know, doing the New Game Plus run, but yeah, the purple coins, these are what you need to go fishing in Big's fishing spot. Yep, so let's get a couple of those. You gotta fish in this hole. Yep, let's go do some fun. I'm honestly probably not going to do too much of this. I mean, there are some really, uh, really good things we can find. Again, some of those uh, Eggman lore stuff in the background. Um, but, uh... Yeah. I mean, yeah, let's let's definitely fish for those, and let's try to fish for... I think there's another thing... Hey, Big. I love how they... Again, I just love how they just casually bring him back here for no goddamn reason other than to fish. Oh, oh that's right, I gotta that all I got. Also, not time for the voice acting to sound a little closer to what it normally is. Yeah. I don't know. I was looking for fishing. I don't know. Oh my god, I thought 
that just occurred to me all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. I think this is still Kyle. I think this is Kyle Bear voicing Big here. Yeah, it's still Kyle, I believe. He could. He would be an excellent. Like, say if this is kind of a very, like very off the cuff, but remember the Puma from the Looney Tunes? Uh oh, P Puma. Yeah, P Puma. He could pull off a really impressive P Puma if he wanted to go with this approach. Yeah, he could. I can. I can hear that. I don't wanna. Devil damn it, I almost misread that as nipples. <laughs> you see, the, the world will soon know the greatness of my, my nipples. You know, I've already seen the fucking fan thing from the Sonic Hang contest, Ooh. I don't want to see it again. Ooh! Ooh. Medaka. Pretty small little fish, he ain't Yeah, yeah, he usually, yeah, Big always get very surprised when you've caught one. Yeah, he always gets you surprised when you catch one. caught one? <laughs> I mean, he gets surprised whenever you catch a new yeah. one. Also cute, a cu also cute detail that he actually gives you a spare fishing rod, which I'm considering he's pretty much rocking the upgraded one he had from this A1. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm loaded. And this is pretty the and, oh, and this is the big thing we want is all the fishing tokens. If you're playing this game on New Game Casual, again there are ways there there are again challenge runs where people have become ultimate power level where I'm at and they haven't even left the first world just because they do this all the time. Also, he mentions it. We never see Froggy in this game ever. Yeah, that's. Literally. I still think that's a really missed opportunity. Like none of the fish you can fish up in here, none of them's froggy. Right, and I would love if you and I would love if you catch one, you immediately get a gold card, or you immediately get like, oh my gosh, I'll give you nine hundred uh, tokens right get, now. Get, I mean, honestly, just give them ten gold cards. That's all you. Do. Oh, that's right, um, Logan. Since you were gracious enough to download the uh, Rathalos armor for Sonic. That also give, gives off gives us an additional uh, uh, means of grinding oh, up tokens. Oh, I never did this actually. Uh, you never did. No, never, never did. did. I, remember, I beat the game. The, remember, I beat the game 100 before this even came out. So okay. So long story short, this is a timing game. You have to pay attention. You have to listen to the, listen to the music while also looking at the condition of the meat you're going to be cooking up on your spit. Oh, okay. Then, then this is a reference to how this exact sort of thing worked out in Monster Hunter. So exactly. Set it up. Hope y'all aren't. Hope y'all aren't hungry. Wait for it. Burnt. You burned it. I was waiting. I could have sworn there was. Some people prefer it that way. <laughs> uh, I, I was. I was kind of hoping there'd be a better. Uh, there's supposed to be like a dun dun dun. I can't wait. Dun, dun, dun. Delish. Now. Uh, okay, maybe you'll... You're close. Oh my... <laughs> Why would it just blow What's up wrong? like that? Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. We'll try one more. We'll try at least one Get or two more times. Get used to that one more. Now! There you Yay. go. And you get uh, get three tokens for your troubles. Again, like if you Why if you did download the Rathalos, <laughs> again, if you download the Rathalos, any of the Monster Hunter themed armors, you do get that little mini game, and that's honestly if you like, it doesn't even require any of the big big fishing tokens. You can just do that whenever you want. You can grind up fishing tokens that way. That's how I did it. Therefore, you can. Therefore, you can literally just spam it and just like you. I, I could sit here for the next nice. I could literally. Whoa, ooh. a marlin! Oh, Holy shit! Again, oh again, God, I could literally just sit here. We're eating great. We're eating big tonight, Froggy. Again, I could literally. Well, we're not eating big. No, no, we're eating. We're, we're, we're eating like, <laughs> not me, meat. obviously. I need to, oh, it's hey. a figure of speech. But I know it's just uh. Oh. Ooh. What's ooh. in the chest? I got a gold, oh, card. It's a gold card. Oh, that's good. Like I can uh, again. I'm gonna be, probably be buying. Uh, honestly, what I'm gonna be spending my money on now is I'm probably gonna be spending it on mostly uh, memory tokens. Memory tokens, egg memos, and, and gears, I guess. Yeah. Also, while you're fishing here, if you're lucky enough, uh, there's a uh, oh, a card. Okay. I love how you know. I kind of still love like most of the fish that you do catch up are so much more photorealistic than the actual Sonic characters themselves. Yeah. It's like that beautiful. It's like that beautiful sense of like um. I don't know. Tonal, tonal dissonance. dissonance. Yeah, tonal dissonance. Just it looks. Look, look at this thing. Don't touch it's that. It's a, a poison dart frog. Hey, don't worry. He's got gloves on. Yeah, that's fair. It's also kind of funny with the uh, photorealistic uh, creatures here because I, I when the game came out, I did make a joke uh, with uh, if I remember you catching alligator specifically. I made oh, a I joke did. saying and that's that's Vector's cousin Victor. It totally. It's. It's just Uncle Harris. 
Now, I believe the elder. <laughs> now, I believe the elder Coco scroll. Yeah, okay. So this is something that you, I don't think I need to do this again. But uh, you, you could also uh, you, you, cash you, out spots. Uh, you do. There's a uh, scroll for both uh, for both the elder and the hermit. Ah, okay. Yep. That is a goldfish. Or eating I had to put him in the tank. <laughs> Don't forget to poke holes. Now to release him back into the wild. I mean, honestly, since we have all the tokens to spare, we may as well keep on going until we can, you know, get some really good fish. I mean, I'll try. Uh, I, I look a fly fish. I mean, I'll, I, I don't, I don't want the whole session to be this though. I want to get onto the big stuffs. I know, right. I know, but. Just think of all the think of all the interesting stuff you could fish out, ranging from carp to goldfish to flying fish to straight up chompers from Sonic One. All right, I'll also do it mainly, and and if I remember, I may also do some off screen mainly because the hell, it's a tadpole. Oh. Yeah, tadpole. Sonic, that's that's my that's Nick Froggy's nephew. Froggy got busy. <laughs> I got busy. <laughs> I wonder how he and Mrs. Froggy are doing right now. <laughs> Don't talk to Froggy Jr. like that. Hey, another one. Ah, <laughs> uh, sometimes you can actually get a gold chest that gives you three tickets. I feel like that doesn't happen until later. Like, like that's the thing. Like, you can't capture every species uh, in this just yet. Th th those more will periodically unlock as you reach the fishing zones in each of the uh, hubs. Oh, which I, which I just love to imagine. Oh, hey, crayfish. Um, which I just love to imagine, like, whenever you go into a new portal, you're not even going to a new pond. You're just going to another side of this pond here. This pond, this pond reaches across the vast cosmic realms of the multiverse. Oh my god! There's a chopper! Christ. Drop that! <laughs> just pair that up with a freaking, <laughs> with a freaking, like, goldfish. It's like, the, again, the distance is so delicious here. It's like, it's like Mario taking a visit to New Donk City. I would want, uh, it, it, in all the updates, I would have, I wish we could have gotten even more ridiculous things. Like, you could just, right? like, you could just fish up Chaos Zero or Chaos, or is it Chaos, <laughs> chaos oh, oh, no, no, Chaos Four. Chaos, chaos four, four, yeah, Chaos Four. That'd be great. Like, oh, that, that, that's weird. What else would it be? It'd be Chaos Four, it would be, um... You could fish up Sticks. Uh, I'm trying to think what. Sticks. Yeah, sticks. That'd be fun. Um, oh, hey, a ring. Oh, oh, yeah, gold ring. Which you don't get to keep, unfortunately, but hey. Don't you do like this? this oh, reference? never mind. I, for some reason, I was expecting the I, I was expecting the ring to actually disappear the moment that finished. That, that would have be been nice. I feel like there has to be something along those lines where something official does something like that. And oh. Be careful. Hey, right. that was, <laughs> cut that out. You, you take that tickles. Now be very, very, very careful. What else? Uh, cat fish up. I think she like. I think she likes you, Sonic. What, what else, <laughs> careful, uh, Sonic. She's a big smoocher. She's a temptress, Sonic. I forget. Is one there of the fish are. you can fish up in this? Oh, there you go. I forget. Um, can you fish up a colcanth in uh, the in any of these uh, ponds? Hey, what again? Uh, a colcan? The really ancient fish from Animal oh, Crossing oh, that's oh, yeah. based on an extinct species. Oh, yeah, coelacanth. Uh, I believe you can, but I don't think it's at this stage. I may be mistaken, but I think I have to go a little bit further into the game to find those ones. Because I feel like you I feel like you can't fish one of those up. I found a can. I oh. think it's late. I think it's, oh. I think it's later. Okay. It's a... T oh, all the tomato sauce is out. <laughs> the water is red suddenly. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's no. Oh, now I gotta restock. Well, back to the black market I go. This is where we. This is how we learn. Hey, a platinum golden fish. Ooh. This is where we learn that all this time he's like, oh, I gotta restock. Calls a freaking Uber Eats and it somehow still fan it finds its way here. <laughs> <laughs> somehow. Again, yeah, because yeah, no, like we're still technically in cyberspace, which, as we're about to learn later on, it's like there's hey. a vast amount of springs. Um, there's a vast amount of like physical information that can be stored here. So basically what we're doing is that we're just literally fishing on one of those, like, digital hard, hard drives, I guess. Sonic, what if I Pretty told much. you about fishing online? <laughs> right? There we are! What hey, did I Sonic, say about I didn't... cat fishing? Uh, God damn it. <laughs> Stop calling <laughs> my joke. <laughs> That's probably the third person I stole a joke from for the past week now. Dang. Aww. You're on, you're on... you dirty choke stealer, you. You're on the cutting edge. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like, okay, so, like, what are your thoughts on... a uh, squid. Well, I mean, what are your... Yo! Th what are your thoughts on, like, just... Because between this, Prime, the comics, like... 
that they really are starting to like go gung ho for like involving Big again. I mean, I don't got a problem with it. I feel like I don't mind. Well, it. the reason why Big was being left out for so long is just because nobody liked his gameplay style back in his SA one. Even though it's like nowadays, it's like oh, yeah, Star Bust. I mean, that's kind of a that's kind of a thing that a lot of people like took umbrage with when it comes to like a lot of Sonic characters because it's like. And that's always just, like, a, an interesting misconception that, to this day, people are still kind of uppity about. Like, the notion of, like, you know, Sonic having friends and his friends being along for adventures, that was never a problem. It was the fact that their gameplays right. were just so devil damn weird and inconsistent with Sonic. That was the thing people were taking umbrage with. Or just e e either very wildly inconsistent or very half-baked. And, I mean, like, yeah, like, with Big the Cat, it's like... He was infamous for... His gameplay was infamous for a reason, but it was not because of the characterization... Oh, okay. People definitely will make fun of the characterization himself, but it's also a matter of, like, nobody really hates him being around. Oh, he's... Although, I do recall John St. John saying it was one of his least favorite roles he did. Right, he didn't like just being told... He didn't like the idea of being... Just voicing, what, in his eyes, a retarded cat. That's a big yeah. donut! Don't... Oh, you just watch me, Sonic. <laughs> oh, you just—you don't think I can? You don't think I can do it, can you? Get the whip cream. I got like, I was gonna lose it challenge. if you just ended off with just saying "son." Oh, sorry. Like not Sonic, just Yo! Sonic. Yo, Anishiki Koi. Beautiful. That's a great fish you caught there, son. And so I was like, "What?" <laughs> Imagine this is where it finally comes down that Ian Flynn finally reveals his master plan that this was this game was just a vehicle to service his idea that Big is actually Sonic's father. But, Jesus Christ. But yeah, no, I guess as far as like the you know the fishing spots are concerned, like I mean, obviously there's the matter of how much you can grind off them, but it's also like I'd say as far as like fishing and Sonic games are concerned, this is like the most harmless one, just because it's something that you can do along the way as opposed to little. It's it's optional. It's something you do along the way, and honestly, it's it's I don't want to. I guess it's just more relaxing as opposed to just oh about Jesus Christ a pair of Buddha. We have far more we have we have far more control over it. Yeah. More and control and it's good. I just wanted to make a joke about like that last treasure that we got, like the, the silver acorn. Actually hang on, I wanna wait just in case this gives us a better one. An anglerfish. Ooh. <laughs> That's a scary one. But oh, like this anyway, I want like this is the one that finally gags. Continue. But I want to go back to the one uh, treasure that you had, the silver acorn. I had this idea of songs like, hey, there's something inscribed on it. Property of the House of Acorn. What kind of loser is that? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I did. A, a part of me was thinking the same thing when I got those acorns. And also this, man, Sonic, look at this poor creature you dragged up. Could you, now it has nothing to eat and it's going to die. Could you imagine, Hype? Just a seahorse? I need another seahorse. Sea just, just make it. Oh, hang it on, work. I got. You know what? You say that, and no, I'm just like, cause I gotta do it, cause he's here. Oh, hey, I'm on a eel. Hello. Could you imagine Sonic just the seahorse seeing another seahorse? You're just making it work. I want to see a big-eyed, tearful, like somber. Oh, oh, yo, a uh, gold plate. Okay, that one I, I haven't seen in my playthrough. I now quick spin it. Ah, oh, I wish. Honestly, I wonder if maybe since I'm on New Game Plus, maybe I have access to the full, like... Because I'm catching a lot more fish than I normally I mean, find in the... I mean, it is possible. I guess, I mean, honestly, it also depends. Because, like, once we leave here, we can check the oh, gold... okay, now here like, we are. Can... Getting... Okay, now you're starting to get repeats. I mean, we could, like, once we're done here, we can check, like, the actual, like, the, the gate itself. And it should give you, like, a whole percentage of how many of the fish you've caught in this spot. Yeah. See, here they all are. Look at all the beautiful creatures of the deep. And they do have some fun little, uh, and they do have some fun uh, flavor text. So uh, was it was the tree came from Silver Two? Uh, let's see. Uh, actually, check actually check the red can real quick. Uh, red can, I know red can. Perhaps it contains some chili con carne for chili dogs. Aww. Oh, if only. They come a variety of sizes, but this one seems to be a regular passenger car. One for the golden rings that have aided Sonic in the past. This one seems to be a work of art that doesn't have any particular effects. It's a mod. Ah, uh, that explains why it didn't disappear. A mechanical fish. It can't be eaten. Don't even try. <laughs> Don't even try, Buster. Uh, a plate that lets you know you've reached the goal. Running past one fills you with a sense of accomplishment. A marker that tracks It was a little dated, though. A little bit. No, I, I, that's an old photo. A marker that tracks <laughs> passerby. You fall off to touch one, you can return to its location. Also, also contrary to its name, there's no star on that post. Nope, that's not until later games. Now, tin cans, I'm going to consume the contents. I'll run to Red Spring. 71, probably even higher than a Yellow Spring. Fair. We can catch a Yellow Spring later. Yep. Uh, and then there will be the voice logs. Uh, but, um... 
You have none right now, I have but none. you can buy them. I could, but I'm gonna. But I'm not gonna listen to all of them right now because I got you know. We, we're, I think we've already spent enough of a break time here as it is. Fair. We'll we'll listen to them later. I'd say I'd say definitely put most of your money on those if you can. There's only like what 24 of them in the whole game. Let's see. That was already. Look, man. Listen to that shame. Ah. Would you like to try? How many did I just buy? I, I didn't even pay attention. I bought a good amount. Cool. We'll oh, we're, uh, we, oh man, we would have we could have bought one more and. Uh, Wait a minute. How many of the 15? Ah, you know, let's just keep going. I, uh, I was about to say, we were only one off from going, reaching the halfway point. Yeah, but I, have, I do not have enough for that. I, that. That'll be later. Next time, everybody. And we will listen to all those when I acquire them all. So, And I can now talk to Amy. Oh. And all right, but uh, real, oh, there you go. You've unlocked your fast travel. All right. Uh, there's another means of fast travel you can unlock, but that will require you to find to clear every uh, map challenge. Also, hold on. Before you go, that way. Yes. Check the gate and see what percentage of Complete. fish you... Oh, you're done here. Yeah, you're done here. Okay, we'll do more. So there you go. Whee! So, okay, so New Game Plus doesn't affect that whatsoever. All right, fair enough. Well, there he is. Also, be careful, because there's a squiddo on the loose. Oh, my lord. I don't even know how I pulled that off. Wow, look at him go. <laughs> no, you creature. don't. <laughs> no. Yay. Man, watch as he just interrupted your little uh, heart gathering session right then and there. Nah, he's all the way over there. All right, let's see what else I can do over here. Here's another one. You know, he looks nothing like the he looks nothing like the squid I ca I caught earlier. Oh, this one's relatively breezy. He's just teaching you how to sidestep, which I'm not gonna lie, I barely use that all aside from these challenges. We, as we've learned, no boss requires using the sidestep function itself until the very, literally, the very last boss of the final DLC is that finally something that you need to, like, consider using, which made that way more frustrating than it needed to be. And before people get antsy that Logan and this, that literally, deliberately ignored that there uh, red fruit, notice he's maxed out on everything right now. I, 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 those are not on my priority. Right now, my priority are on cyberspace levels and... Lucky Charms hearts. hearts. Wonder if they do actually chase like Lucky Charms. I'm I'm not finding that part out. <laughs> God forbid they taste like God forbid they taste like the uh, the age old Super Mario brand cereal. I actually never had that. It's okay. Okay. I mean, it's literally ju it's literally just knockoff Lucky Charms. Knock off Lucky Charms, and I remember when uh, Peanut Butter Gamer did a video and he tried them. Apparently, they also smoke like Fruit Loops. Not terribly surprising oh. thinking about it. Oh, into the drink. That was not on my top of my game. All right, I need to, I need, I need to start getting this ball rolling. All right, where is Amy? I know this is probably the most random ass topic we can bring up right now, but I'm not really a cereal person at all. Uh. Like I used to, like very, like maybe once or twice when I was younger, I'd go for like Reese's Puffs, but otherwise, like, and maybe tab dabble in like Fruit Loops or whatever, but otherwise, I don't. I just never cared. I was always more of a. I was always more of a waffle and toaster scramble sort of thing. Um, I do enjoy me waffles. Cereal is one of those things where I kind of have to be in the mood for. Uh, I think it's cause what, I, what were you doing? To... I don't know. I think it's because I injured a combat thing accidentally. Oh, uh, yeah. that That's another thing that's kind of annoying, is that when you're in close proximity of an enemy, Sonic will take a defensive stance, which will also disable certain, you know, things. Like, you can't... I don't think you can pause during that. Or, you know, can't. You can't pause, you can't um, interact with anything else. It's kind of obnoxious. There we go. Give me the goods. No, give me the goods. It's like, we don't need this kind of Kingdom Hearts ass nonsense in my Sonic game. <laughs> Get that shit out of here. Okay, now then. Are we good now? Nope, gotta no, think we're, we're good. Gonna, <laughs> we're gonna have to take out this multi eyed freak, which. Yeah, this this guy would be impossible to fight if he didn't already have the ability to do that little kick beam thing you got there now. Actually, Sonic you Brown. know what? Before we talk to Amy real quick, ah! let's... Never mind. I will look at my skills after this. Don't worry. Fair. Sorry. I'm, I'm moving it's fast, fine. man. This is my fast move. <laughs> I know. I know. Like, once you start playing a certain game, you <laughs> there's sometimes you just can't take turn off the autopilot. That I'm old. At the very least, you're being courteous and not skipping cutscenes. I'm not. I'll skip the ones that are like you know repeated over and over again, like me feeding Amy the Lucky Charms. But right. Mm -hmm. 
Gotta love how the quality from these cutscenes skip back and forth between either, like, actual effort and these essay one-looking ones. Yeah, like, sometimes it's sometimes yeah. it's, ha it's hand-animated, other times it's it's clearly, like, just done in-engine using, you know, canned motions. Yeah, it's one of those things where, like, if you really don't want to put in that much effort, just, you know, just animate... Like, honestly, just don't even make them actual cutscenes. Like, make them, like, little text blurs with, uh, emo like, emotional stills on them, if that makes any sense. Like, going back to the old days of... I feel like this is an example I can think of, but it's not coming to me right now. Anyway, we gotta tend to a field. Yep. Ow! Bees! Ow. Yeah, no, the, bee, the bees hurt. And, uh, you only have, uh, three hits to your name. Also, oh my <laughs> Logan, there's, this is no time to, there's no time to be a lewd draw, a lewd artist on the, out on the guard. I'm not will, trying to be! I will admit, this one did kind of, like, confuse me when I first played it, because what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to side loop as much of this grass as you can. I thought you had to, like, side loop around these little, like, flower posts a uh, number of times. I guess the idea yeah, is they're, that they're, they're, just, they're just there to distract the bees. Oh, I actually didn't know that. Now I do. Well, now you do. Okay, let's get the let's get them distracted. Nope, they're not distracted. Okay, time to be panicking. <laughs> Houston, they're not distracted. Fuck. But you only have a thousand points left, so just make it count and almost not quite. This will be it. Careful. Got it. Jesus. And I nearly got stung again. I did not get stung. You 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 you're fooling. Oh, next. Who, who the hell am I fooling? Nobody except for... <laughs> nobody, because it's the truth. But yeah, there you go. That's mainly how this works, is for... But anyway, uh, so that's how this mainly goes. As you're continuing the story, you'll get four of the Chaos Emerald, or th at least three of the Chaos Emeralds from doing the normal you know, gameplay loop of completing power stages and stuff. Um, the other Chaos Emeralds you'll get by actually progressing the plot, so you, you can't skip it all. I mean, no, again, that's why, you know, certain friends' icons on the map are colored. Those are the ones you need to do. Well then. Well then, time's of the essence. Oh, hang on, something's happening. We get to see more. Oh yeah, more of this. And now we learn Sage is working. Sage is uh, yes, sir. she's the AI, she's that one little uh, AI gizmo she, thingy. Yeah, she was the gizmo thingy thingy that Eggman uh spliced onto that uh porter earlier, and she became somehow she suddenly took the form of this girl. Interesting. All right, now what, Sonic? I don't think they explicitly explain oh. how she did it though, but she did. I must have gotten a lot of tokens, I guess. Oh. Yep. Most likely. What about finding me a way out of this digital dimension? I have run one million seven hundred thousand and fifty. Dang. That's a lot of microseconds. Okay, Doctor Strange. Keep looking. Make it your number one priority. But keeping you safe is my priority. Oh. Now. Okay, Tony Stark. <laughs> Now, again, we did see it, like, a couple times. Okay, maybe only one time in, in that April Fool's game. But I want to start... I want to see some interactions between Sage and Orbot and Cuba. Squid! There is! Squid doo, -doo. But I want to see... It almost took us two hours! Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I want to see some interactions between Sage and uh, Orbot and Cubot. And maybe Mel. That would be nice. And Metal, yeah. Oh, hang on. I'll deal with Would you later. Nice. New character. Uh, you, you just keep you just keep on flying on by. Don't mind me. Is he done? Nope. Uh, let's just pray he doesn't loop back. You can stop now. I'm. I want to talk to this guy. Any day now. <sighs> Hang on. Aren't those Aren't those the prettiest lights, Sonny? Where Turn are yourself. you going? I'm resetting it by doing that. Watch this fucking squid is literally right on top of the elder the moment nope. you do that. Oh, oh that would have been funny. Oh, there. Quick little fella, aren't you? Squid. Oh, there he is. <laughs> the name's Sonic, and that says it all. You don't seem like the rest of the little mask guys. We are called Coco, and we've endured since ancient times. My name has been lost to time, so please simply call me Edgar. 
<laughs> it has been my job to look after all the little ones, but over time I've lost track of so many. Uh, Sonic, may I ask you to return my charges to me? Sure thing, Gramps. If I see any while I'm helping my friends, I'll bring them back to you. <laughs> True, hero. I will happily reward you for your efforts. Uh, let me see, I can do two things for you. I can sing a mean ballad, or I can present to you this gift receipt for one free dinner at your local cheesecake factory. <laughs> cool, oh, let's do it to it! The cheesecake factory is fucking trash, according to some people. Oh, who do we have here? A naysayer to Cheesecake Factory's <laughs> prominence as a vine-eating establishment. You see, I um. hate it because it's in Big Bang Theory, and I've been conditioned to despise anything even ten tangentially not. associated with Big Bang Theory. I'll, I'll admit, I haven't. I, I, I'll admit, I don't think I've ever actually ever eaten in one yet. Me neither. I I, I, Me neither. I, I probably, maybe I should. I don't know. Maybe it's been a while. Who's gays raised? They have enough variety. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, this is me turning in some of the, uh, how's that for a change? Yes, you already brought back somebody safely. I've done all the candy, so bring more cocoa and you here in your mini percent. Thanks to you. Farewell, Tony. Thank you. Bye-bye. There we go. Now this one's completed. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, once you're maxed out, all, all he'll ask you is, you know, continue to, you know, bring the cocoa back home. Yep. All right. There's gotta be something I can do though, like okay, because uh, I don't think. Well, I've we gotta done... talk to Amy, don't we? Yeah, but I don't think I've, I don't think I've done all the challenge stages either. That's a map challenge here. Okay, th there's 105. I don't think I've done yet. That's not. That's a. Um, that's a. No, that's those, those are, those are the changes. action. Oh, action change challenges. Okay. There's a you we fucking need. silly goober. I'm not a silly goober. <laughs> you know what a silly goober does? They don't go completing all the map challenges like they should. I'll say they're sad. Oh. Goofy. Oh, you need what? You need seven more. Dang. Yeah, he needs seven more uh, charms. Dang. Okay. Get to work, boy. Freaking stingy. All right. Well, there's one down here. Hang on. Oh, uh, hold on a second, guys. I'll be right okay. back. No worries. Okay. I will but chill. Did, did, there's also a stage that you didn't play yet. Eh, okay, I'll do this bit real quick. Get that hard. I'm not gonna do anything plot specific. I'm just gonna go for more of these quick little easy hearts. Don't worry, oh. James, you're not missing anything special. Yet. Nope. Yet, that's a key. That's a note. That's a note. That's your boy. That's your homeboy. Hey, y'all, your boy Sonic here. <laughs> Bringing you this hit new game brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. Please, uh, please link to my affiliate link with another link. Uh, Along with my friend Link. I met him once. It, it was kind of an awkward time. Uh, apparently, he was dealing with some guy with giant wings, and uh, I don't know why. I don't know why he was making such a big fuss about it. I was able to clip those wings pretty easily. Also, ter I'm back and terribly sorry, Logan, for some of the audio. You're gonna have to edit out. It's okay. Was it a loud dog? Uh, no, more so. More so, my nephews came in and came in to uh, wish me a happy Aww. happy Halloween with their costumes. Oh my gosh, that's so cute! One of them was dressed up as the pink fluffy thing from Poppy's Playtime. Oh, that's not that's no longer as cute. Yeah, no. uh, <laughs> the the youth of today. I mean, hey, listen, the, the youth of today like Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm not gonna you know give them too much crap for it. Oh yeah, the, the I was about you said. Hmm? Go ahead. I was about to say you said the youth Aww. today. I even said it in the general chat earlier today. You're gonna say to General Yu for all my nephews dressing up as Woody from Toy Story. Aww, I, I didn't say that. I didn't say it applied to all of them. <laughs> but you yeah, did see that though, by the way. What did you think of the Five Nights at Freddy's movie? Generally, as a FNAF fan, an older one, give or take, I love it. But it's but the move. If you're gonna watch the movie, it's only gonna please the hardcore fans back in the day. That's, That's all I'm really gonna yeah, say. Yeah, like it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, from what I've heard, the general from the general consensus, it's pretty boring otherwise. Yeah, like it. It, it really does kind of fault, have that same problem that um, uh, some argue the Mario fan has. This, some argue that the, it's a problem the Mario film has, and to an extent, Sonic 2, and the fact that like it really did feel like it was meant for fans first and foremost, above any other type of audience. I'll yeah. just give the. Yeah, I'll just the, give those. A, God. Yeah, and also then again, uh, this movie has been in development for about eight years now. 
Yeah, I mean, remember how, remember, like, one of the, the earlier drafts of it spawned freaking the Banana, the Banana Splits movie. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. She took it down to Happy Town. Ha. Huh. And, hey, I mean, it was cool. You got the Looney Tunes guy doing the voices in that one. Yeah. Bowser yeah. really Mr. hasn't Bowser been keeping busy. Like, honestly, it's amazing where you can find him nowadays. Like, in that, you can find him in, in the Looney Tunes, obviously. He was a, he was Zits of the Battletoads for a brief stint. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I know he is the current uh, fill-in actor for Puss in Boots. There's that, and at least for a brief moment, he also got to voice Diddy Kong. Wait, he did? Oh, right, in the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he got to he got to voice him when she, when he was chanting for D, DK. Mm -hmm. He also voiced the not Toadsworth character. Yeah, and also I think he also voiced one of the Koopas too. I believe so. Yeah. Or whatever that's worth. Just yeah, no, it's honestly yeah, it's again, it's pretty crazy what you'll see kids dressed up as a Halloween nowadays, whether it be uh, the pink thing from Poppy's Playtime or even a dinosaur. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, just going over to the like, look, like not even just a dinosaur, but it's like those like like remember the one dinosaur costume that that guy was wearing like wearing during like the whole like like the hundred yard race or whatever. I think. I yes. Think. Like I'm pretty sure I remember seeing at least one video of like a whole track and field event going on, and one of them was dressed up, dressed up as one of those loppy dinosaur costumes. Oh, oh, the, oh like yeah, the one yeah, that yeah. has like the inflatable front. Yeah. And yes. It's just, and his head's just whoa, like, <laughs> it's just flailing all over the place. I, it's beautiful. I do love those. Those are those are those are hands down one of my favorite costumes. Did I ever show you that TikTok trend where the, where the dude's older brother kept picking him up from? elementary school and every time he oh. did he'd be blasting <laughs> some big music and yeah. and, one oh, yeah. the, and one of the times he did is like you know what time it is and he's and it's and he got his friends involved to wear those t-rex outfits mm -hmm. while he's blasting the uh jurassic park theme nice. <laughs> but yeah just going back I, to i love that shit yeah. but yeah just going back to the uh movie Going back to movies real quick, um, that is basically uh -huh. what I've heard about the the FNAF movie. I've seen like clips of it, and the most I'll see is that like one, the animatronics are you know it's the work of Jim Henson's company, so as as expected, like, they like really on point. Like I'm really impressed with. Oh yeah, no, look. oh yeah, no, those are those are fantastic. And oh, yeah. second off, yep. I have to say, um, uh, another thing that I've heard from people is that like. He, he's not in it super frequently, but Matthew Lillard apparently does steal the show, especially when he just goes up and says, "Are you challenging me?" That is not what happened. <laughs> it would be fantastic. Is, nah. Now there actually is one thing I will I will put on the record to say. There is actually one thing mm. that Matthew Lillard does that is a really neat callback to anybody who's seen Matthew Lillard's others other ventures into horror. Mm -hmm. um, at one point. Oh uh, right, yeah. I mean, I'll say right now. I, 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 spoilers: the trailer showed it off. Springtrap does make an appearance in this, and it's kind of an or it kind of like merges. A lot of people are noting that there's actually a butt ton of references to the books, even. But um, anyway, I uh, have noticed. Yeah, Springtrap does make an, an appearance in this, and uh, at one point after Springtrap has uh, uh, stabbed someone. Uh, Springtrap wipes the blood off of the knife in a very similar manner. Hey, one of these things. Uh, in, in a very ah. in a very similar manner to uh, how Ghostface in the original Scream did, who, spoilers, was played by uh, Matthew Lillard at some points. Mm. I, I'm, I'll say right now, he did, he did not murder anyone once he had the knife out uh, at the very end of the movie. He just pulled it out and just did the knife thing. That's really it. Oh, there, was not, there, wasn't, there wasn't even any blood on it? No. Uh, ah, well, okay, then... Th remember, this... I mean, remember, PG-13. You say that, but there is I mean, a, I mean you say one... PG-13, but there is a... There is a... There is a blood scene when uh, Bonnie killed one of the people. And, the, ah. and of course, you can't get... Much, you can, of course, you can't get... Uh, you can't get too far into the internet without learning about how Freddy killed at least one person. Whoa! Mm -hmm. And not to mention, like, the, the intricacies of, like, what happened to the kids when they actually get into the suits. Yeah, that's its own. But, but yeah, from what I've heard, what I've heard is that it's maybe not a good horror movie, but it is a very good Five oh, Nights not. at Freddy's. Yeah, it like, is a very good movie to those who it, you know, well, follow I'll just say this. It's about as effective as a horror movie as FNAF is as a horror game. Well, see, that's the thing. Like, again, like, it used to be good as a horror game, but 
after a while, it started to, like, really... There we go. Oh, no, you don't! It started, after a while, it started to care more about story than delivering the scares. Yeah, and again, It's also that people were just so invested into the stories. <gasps> yeah. Don't. Like, over time, it, over time, it just became, like, the... Like the whole appeal about the series. I mean, not to say the lore wasn't the appeal of the uh, of the uh, games. It's like there there was definitely some intrigue here and there. And that's why it got as big as it did. But it's also a matter of like the priority shifted after a while, and you it definitely has. notice and it in later in later uh, games. Yeah, it has, and I'm I'm still one of the general few that cares about the ori the original trilogy story, counting even the fourth game story. So would you say like so after that? I just don't care about it at all because it kind of gets ridiculous so would you say that ultimate custom night would be like the better like that that should have been where it ended no i would say pizza simulator should have been the finale i mean that, okay so i'll because... say really I'll, I'll say real quick technically technically that is still true it's just some people look at ultimate custom night almost like an epilogue to pizzeria simulator you know the plot of ultimate custom night right I remember the plot, but I never heard about it being an epilogue to uh, Pizza Simulator. Basically, the brand, I know random thing to be bringing up in the Sonic playthrough, but basically, like basically, the the idea of it as an epilogue is that uh, Ultimate Custom Night just exists as this is this is what William this is what William Afton's hell is now after the events of finally dying as a result of Pizzeria Simulator. That I remember. And that's about it. That, that's how I can see it as an epilogue. It's no story besides, yep, you you are playing as Afton, just suffering through this. You can have fun from it, but Afton is literally, you know, condemned to experience this for eternity. <laughs> yeah, which also can, which also uh, brings in the fucking a, uh, FNAF AR, uh, the fucking mobile game. Oh, yeah. There we go. And then the oh. freaking security breach. Oh, and then, uh, as far as, like, Five Nights at Freddy's is concerned, I kind of just stopped paying attention after, um, what was it? I think after Sister Location, like, anything after that, I kind of just zoned out. Like, of. I, yeah, because that was, like, uh, yeah. I, I think of that because I know that was, like, the one joke that I still, <clears throat> excuse me, the one joke I remember when it, Johnny talked about it on his channel with Elliot, where it's like, oh, we'll just wait till the next uh, couple of months, or it could be tomorrow. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I mean, think he I, is not I, wrong about that. I completely forgot about it. We'll just show these out quickly. We got Psy Loop, Phantom Rush, which is once I get uh, a maxed out column meter, you can start doing a butt ton of like you know after images of you know just way just wailing on somebody. You got that's definitely something you'll more so notice when you're doing boss fights. Yep. You got mm -hmm. Air Tricks, which is mainly used if you're leveling up experience. I don't care about that. Got to have your Stomp Attack, of course. Uh, quick Psy Loop is very handy in boss fights. You'll be seeing more of that later. Only, only problem is that with the quick with the uh, quick Psy Loop there. Uh, this is something I didn't learn, didn't really figure out until much later, but it does run under a meter. Oh, yeah. And once cool it runs one. out, you can't really do it anymore. And it's, I'll admit, it's clearly right there. The writing's there, like, right as day. I don't know how I just suddenly didn't even notice it, it was even a thing. Some of the... Like, even when you're playing the game proper, like, the, the, the gauge for it is so small. Some of the meters on the right, they kind of, it does kind of become for visual white noise. It kind of blends in a lot. You got the sump tag, got the loop kick. I... This is... Barely used it. Yeah, I don't really use it all that often. Uh, Sonic Boom is a very handy one if you're trying to build up your combo meter. Uh, it does very little damage, but each attack can boost up your combo. You got Wild Rush, which I definitely have occasionally done this on accident while spamming. Uh... Same. Yeah. Uh, handy. Uh, auto combo. Uh, it is okay, but I honestly will be switching that off later because that'll, you know, that can actually reduce damage. And in the final challenge for the King Cocoa, especially, that can be a big nerf you don't want. Homing shot is handy. Spin slash is loud. That cool. one, I rem that one's honestly pretty handy. And of course, recovery smash is handy. But uh, another fun fact I learned is that if you ever get hit, just immediately air dash, and you will not lose rings while you're in midair. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, the also the uh, three abilities on the far right of the uh, skill tree. Those are technically uh, abilities you get during the course of the story. Huh. All right. Where the heck is Portal? There we go. Okay. So, because I don't think I've done them all yet, I still feel like I'm missing some. There's some. There's probably some you missed, and I mean, there's also a matter of like, you're, there's still a handful of the map you haven't uncovered yet. Yeah. Here, let's do this one. Okay. Cool. Uh, how do I? Oh, oh, oh this is easy. Yep, you just gotta side loop that little uh, thingy there. Oh, and then you gotta Boris. play soccer. My ado, the soccer. Go. Let's just let's just say that it does get a little more complex the more like later like on the later islands. But here it's it's just you know put in one hoop and that's it. 
But they've already got the Yellow Chaos Emerald, so I... I think... I, I mean, technically, in terms of the story, I think I am just at the point where I just need to, like... Now, I just need to talk to Amy, but... Again, there's still more things I could be doing, like over here. I mean, I think it's coming to a point, since we're getting so late into the uh, recording, why don't we just go ahead and, like... Just knock out I the... think once we're done with this challenge... Like, let's knock out the story bits first, and then... If we did somehow miss any, like, challenges here, we can go back to them in a later session. Like... You know what? I, I do. I, I do have the plans to, at the very least, like before we beat the game, do a cleanup session. Yeah, let's do a cleanup session while we're doing doing the like one like either before or after we finish the fourth island. Oh my! Yep. Because that yeah, one's pretty. That one's pretty. That one's pretty short. Yeah. You know, yeah. No, I think that. I think that's fair enough. Uh, let's go up here. Oh my lord. Because yeah, no, we're already past the two-hour mark, and I mean. We're not, I mean, we already, I think we already have enough to literally get to the end if we know what we're doing. Yeah. I've been doing pretty good. Got all my rings. Save for, like, one other puzzle that they'll throw at you that's kind of a, uh, br kind of a brain, kind of a brain squeezer. Uh, let's see what we got. First, Sage, let's talk to you. Skip. Hello, Sage. Are you gonna mock me again for being a blue hedgehog that's still alive? <laughs> Your mouth moved like an animatronic there just then. That is the benefit of doing these even even a longer than normal session is that God when we get to the uh, when we get to fighting the Titan that'll be a freaking shot of adrenaline I need. Oh, absolutely! Like yep. that is something we'll you know we'll gush over later. But I do think, however brainless they may be to some people, I'd say these are still like. The stuff we get to do with the Titans is easily some of the best boss stuff in the series. Absolutely. Easily. What you doing? I mean, even if it's not, like, super challenging. Although, I mean, technically it can be on your first run. It's, I guess there, there's just enough active... Uh, I guess the adrenaline's just, you know, enough to make it to uh, warrant its use. You get what I mean. I kind of have... I kind of have more, like, split opinions about the uh, bosses... And, you know, again, going back to, like, it's probably going to be one of my more, like, not liked opinions when it comes to it. But that's more so, it's not necessarily with the fights themselves, but more so an element surrounding it. But I'll save that for after, for when we get to that boss. Okay. All right. I found this, may as well. <laughs> yeah, we're already here. Things will be a little <laughs> more streamlined and or will end or I'll definitely be, you know, by next world on, I'll, I'll I'll be dedicating more, like you know, maybe more than one session per area. Potentially. Ah, now we're in chemical plant. In chemical plant. Hey, oh yeah, this is yeah, yeah, this is generations uh, chemical plant. Yep. Yeah, I remember. I remember the, the you know the original was always good fun, but here, I mean. Again, it just really hammers home just how much more, ha like, how half-baked the uh, boost, like, the boost engine, like, mechanics were, like, like, post-forces than it was, you know, during the whole, like, Unleashed Generations uh, era. I still think, I still think Generations was, Ooh. like, the peak of Boost Sonic for me. Oh, great. I like, gameplay-wise, it was, gameplay-wise, it's like, how it doesn't really get much better than that. It's so good. I mean, look at this. Look at all these cool, like, you know, different, like, paths that can be taken. It's like, wow, look at that. And I did horribly. <laughs> oh, well, it's the thought that counts. I mean, look at that. I, I, I still got three of them. Okay. All right. Yeah, you, you, all you were missing were the red star rings. I will take it. <laughs> I'll take it to the bank. But, yeah, no, the cyberspace challenge is far more punishing because you need to get an S rank in every single one in one, mm -hmm. in one fell swoop. And I think if you clear that whole challenge, that's what allows you to literally go to the cyberspace levels with all the, you know, all the boost-ups or whatever you have while traveling in the open zone. Which, I don't need it that badly. I mean, I mean, it'd be great, but I also don't, I also don't think the, you know, it's kind of like the same reason, it's kind of like how Hype feels about the post-game like post challenge in Super Mario Bros. Wonder. It's not worth the, it's not worth all that hassle. Yeah. Man, that's gonna be. Uh, I, uh, I, I don't, hang on, I'm getting tongue tied for a second Put there. On, call Way to bring out, up yeah. that controversial opinion. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How he? 
How dare he not love that? How dare he not love that reward? Said Squid. I don't know why. I just saw him. You know what? I'm so sorry. The moment I just see him just go making his entrance like that, and I'm just going all, hello, just only makes me think back to how. Makes me think back to uh, Sam and Max. Hello. And how Sam just goes off, hello. <laughs> I was watching, actually, now that I'm just, you know, bringing up small talk. I was uh, watching, uh, Game Grumps actually started uh, playing Hit the Road because Danny oh, really? uh, mentioned that, because Danny mentioned he actually, he, he loved that game uh, growing up. Really? Um, Has Danny played any of the Telltale ones? Uh, I don't know, actually, but he, but he definitely grew up, he, he also was like, remember, he, remember he's old, but uh, he definitely uh, mentioned that he, he even grew up with the comics. Mm. Oh, cool. You know, oh, yeah, that is honestly something I... Uh, I forgot. No, I but I, I, no, because I forgot. I already killed that one technically. Any right. So now. he doesn't. He doesn't. What's even the point of, the, of bringing it back? I don't know. For the thrill of Let's it. Talk to someone. Anyway. But um, but I'm also gonna say, like all things considered, it's been a good long while since we did them. I feel like we could just go ahead and do the re like Did do you? the remasters of the uh, Telltale games. Weren't we Until planning on doing that at one point? Maybe we should just let them wrap up I know we did a stream of the first French of the first season, but. Oh yeah. See. One thing I've definitely noticed regarding the animations in this game, I mean obviously it's still not as polished and like the cinematics don't feel quite as good as they should be. I do appreciate the change up they made to the facial models, especially for Sonic where like you'll notice like maybe he'll do a little eye like a little like um side eye or whatever mm -hmm. and you can sort of tell his uh, head sort of morphs to com accommodate that. Yeah. But, but but again, it, like, it, like 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 that for example. True. Yeah. It's very subtle, but it's it's like if you pay attention to the ears, it's very noticeable that they morph the head a yeah. little bit to allow him to do it a little like the emotion is definitely a little more. Um, it's definitely more potent than it was in previous. Yeah, games. They're, they're using a little bit more of his brow than forces did. Right. It's not unlike say how like there's certain games that try to cheat around cheat like they, they try they nice. have little like technical cheats that allow Mickey to have his ears uh, on the sides like they do like like how it's supposed to be in the two D mm -hmm. stuff. Well, we don't. But uh, but but again, it's... see, no matter what, no matter where I turn, they stay around. Whoop! I got too many rings to spare. I don't care about this. We <laughs> got a big boy. Let's go. Yeah, that's hello, big boy. That's also another thing to know. Whenever you see like a speed boost or ramps that are like sparkly, when you jump off them, you can do like tricks, kind of like what you could in Generations. Ah, oh, okay. Do you always make that sound every time you move? Yes. Don't judge yeah. me. Hey, it's a nice sound. Uh oh. A flashback. What the? Sepia. Oh, hey, now we're on Amy's level. Look, she's tangible again. Is that chaos? So this is. It looks like chaos. So yeah, now we know what the ancients actually look like, and it definitely opens up some eyebrows if you have any, uh, you know, experience with some of the Sonic's past adventures. She found her true love. They exploded. The so some war or some battle suddenly happened here that involved these Coco that was definitely a little more unassuming than the little cute, uh, you know, cu you know, cute Korok things led us to believe. And but yeah, and uh, I mean, you definitely noticed like on those little oh, look at that. They found, I guess, their purpose. They found each other again. Take a minute. I'm gonna keep moving. Okay. But yeah, as, that, as you definitely notice in that cutscene, like those two lovers, like you definitely notice, like inside their chest cavity, that's where it, it, there was a symbol that represented the Coco. So I mean, that I think already says in itself that these Coco are pretty much like, for lack of a better word, like a, like a long, like a, what's the word I'm looking for here? Some prehistoric. They're pretty. Race. They're, remin they're remnants of their past selves. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kind of like, 
they're like a, I guess in some ways they're like a hardened ghost. Yeah, that's fair. That's still trying to, that that's trying to. Man, when you think about it, it's like we were just doing the game not that long ago. It's not unlike, it's not on. Green Fandango. Uh, you know what? Kind of like that. Okay. Oh, uh, you know, okay. I, like the ghost, like I what you're saying, like some sort of like rem some remnant, some like sheltered husk or. Mm -hmm. Aw, no flower for you. She can't smell the yeah. roses, even though those aren't roses. Not tangible enough to pick them up. Hey, still thinking about the cocoa? Yeah. And more. Oh? Tell me your ways. Not sure what happened. Sure a little stars off tonight, huh? I love the you like jazz? I believe in that power. When this is over, I want to share that love Don't worry, fellas. This adventure's this part of our adventure's almost over. It may take us far apart. But yeah, this is a pretty sweet scene all the same. I feel like the one time where Amy's whole like I want to hear all about it when you come back. It's like it's pretty much a more proper way to showcase Amy's whole like it's like a what's the word? Well, I'm to me, it's like an arc. Like, I guess like that. Also, more like an arc where, if you it, like, if you compare how she was in SA one to now, like she's become a lot more independent and, as opposed to thinking she needs Sonic in order to be happy. Right, but even still, she hasn't entirely let go of her sen her sense of passion or her sense of passion for you know others around her. Right, true. It just feels like a more natural way of doing it as opposed to like. <laughs> you know, back in the four kids era, where she was kind of a little obnoxious about that. Hmm, true. Looks like there's a pattern on the ground. This could be a dire, dire puzzle, a grave mystery. He says as he pulls up a guide. What are you talking about? <laughs> I have done no such thing. Yet. Okay, so this is how we're gonna do this. So, how's everyone This puzzle, day? I remember. I remember hating this puzzle when I played it for the first time. Because mm -hmm. the problem is that, like, it, it, the problem is that it does merge uh, certain ones uh, together, and if you don't know yeah. to move them in a certain order, it can be annoying. So, ta da! Mm -hmm. I screwed up. Not yet. Hang on. Oops. <laughs> I said. Ta da! Damn. Why isn't my ta dying? Oh, so, Sam, how you doing over there? Oh, gosh dang it. You know, I'll, I'll move my pants. Uh, how do you feel about the characters in this game? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I will say Amy is definitely better in this game, which is saying a lot for me, a person who actively despised Amy for a long ass time. Um,. I'll say that, like, Sonic is definitely better. When we get to Tails and Knuckles, I'll give my thoughts on that. Okay. I think I, I think what they did with them is fine, but, I mean, yeah, that's definitely something we could touch upon once it's more, you know, appropriate. Well, I, 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 don't I know think I had my the... thoughts on Tails when I first encountered him, but, yeah, I did think about it more after that part. Yeah, I was about but to yeah, say, we'll like, to like I think it's just strictly Tails that people tend to get, like, very vocal about. Like, I don't think anyone has a problem with how Knuckles was, per se. Yeah, no, Knuckles was fine. I, I liked him. Yeah, I had no problems with Knuckles, honestly. <laughs> we def I definitely have some choice words about what, how they handled Knuckles, but it's it's one of, it's more in the joking sense than anything. But again, that's something we could go up and get on get upon later. Like you, yeah. just yeah, no, it's like I, you, and R, and a jerk. No, I was gonna say more. I was gonna more say. I was gonna say more so the G word, but uh. Yeah. There we go. Sonic. There. Sonic. Holy shit. Sonic, there's no reason to call me a grape. See? That's proof. <laughs> See? That is proof that I didn't use a guide because I screwed up and was dumb. So, Listen, huh. at, least you finished it, at least you finished it in less than 10 minutes. For me, it took almost 20 minutes to finish that one. The problem is that it's a logic puzzle and it's one of the... And, and, the, and everything's like links. So you have to like move it in such a way that everything like ties together. It's... Eh. 
It's yeah. yeah, it's not it's not the fun, it's not the most fun thing in the world. So once you find out like how you can like move, what it's like a Rubik's cube. Once you figure out the algorithm, by the way, I suck at Rubik's cubes, so don't listen to me on that. But it's like a Rubik's cube. Once you figure out like how it's, uh, once you figure out which moves what and how you can like complete a rotation without losing your spot, it's not rough, it's like a... but it's definitely it's definitely not what you expect when you go into a Sonic game. It's like a Rubik's like cube, except cubes. I don't know how they work. You're giving me a I huge gotta... fucking flashback of not 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 a Rubik's cube because I did have one, but I didn't fully complete it. I had the fucking Rubik's three sixty. That oh was God. a fucking nightmare for me. Wow. And yes, I actually did complete that. Damn. Okay. I mean, jeez. I mean, congrats to you. Just yeah, no. Thank goodness this game doesn't pull anything. Like, as far as I can remember, that's hey. okay. One of the worst hey. puzzles that the game has to offer. What? But at the very least, they never put us through, put us through anything any more tedious than that. Like I don't know, a sliding puzzle or Rubik's. Oh hey, I, hey, hey, hey! I would have been okay with sliding puzzles. You know me now. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Logan is the person who will bullshit a game somehow. He'll find a way to bullshit it. Right? That's my character arc. It's about same for shits and giggles. I'm pretty sure that's both Logan and I's jobs. Yeah, I find some fun. Yeah, no, things. you bullshit it, and I just go like, oh, okay. Right, let's get I'm not on. too fond of this cutscene, honestly, because it looks like it's just been stretched. Yeah, oh my god, yeah, yeah, wow, it, it looks, does. It, it, look, it looks squished. I what? fucking hate it. Why is that? I don't know. I, I don't, don't get it either. I don't understand. No. This, this, I mean, no, yeah, you're no. It's something about. I'm, I'm afraid. Yeah, no. It's definitely something to do with the resolution, because that does look suddenly widescreened. <laughs> Like, maybe this is, like, what is this, like, an FMV or something? Maybe? It, it doesn't need the letterboxing, then. Anyway. It's time to get to work, because you may be wondering, well, we only collected six of the Chaos Emeralds. Uh, funny thing about that. Uh, this, uh, big, this big old Giganto here actually is holding on to the seventh one. Because, so of course, every... Every Titan has a setup like this in which we need to first uh, get on top of this frickin' monstrosity to get to work. So, let's get a move on. Excuse me? <laughs> okay. Ow. Let's be like let's be like a wanderer and wander up his uh, up his hind legs. Okay, you got to be okay. You... I thought you were going to say wander up his ass or something. I'm <laughs> This is not Ant-Man. This is not Thanos. Oh. One goddamn. One I one thing that's one thing that still makes me fucking chuckle with uh, this boss in particular, it's nothing It's nothing official, it's more on the modding scene, where oh. it's just fucking doing the Gundam style. Oh, that Devil Dance thing. <laughs> yeah, and, it, it, like, you could definitely feel the impact of it just <laughs> dancing around like that. Okay, let's it makes me laugh simple. every single fucking time. It's A large like, fucking creature is doing the Gundam style. <laughs> like, I'm amazed that doesn't doesn't destroy any computers doing it's that. Shutter. Anyway, I don't know that. Let's have fun. Alright, supersonic time. Best soundtrack. Um, this oh yeah, no, easily some of the best tracks in this game definitely come from the uh, Titan fights. Absolutely. These are my favorite. Probably, these are probably the best so supersonic contents the franchise has ever given us. Is that fun? I yep. honestly, I honestly have to agree because, I agree. and I mean, that's mostly. <laughs> sad thing is, it's mostly because most other supersonic fights range from either obnoxiously annoying to downright like boring. Yeah, pretty much. Or, or you know, if not boring, then outright brainless. Though then again, well, it's because of how powered up we are now, we're kind of making it the uh, oh brainless boy. part. We're making it its bitch. But don't worry, we'll make up that. We'll make up. We'll make that up once we eventually do the un do another story. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy <laughs> it. I'm gonna enjoy this moment of catharsis then. Yeah, <laughs> come on. Have have a good time with that one. Oh like. crap! Watch out! It's bringing out his pew pew laser. Actually, no, never mind. That's more like a... Uh, that's just a straight-up fuck you cannon. I'm a fire in my laser. Get that out of here! Yeah, pretty much. Still Get gotta up. say, though, I know... I know... Careful, he'll we're counter. Not, uh, we're not there to that boss fiend yet, but my, my favorite one still has to be the Knight's fiend. Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah, no, Find Your Flame is fantastic. But this one's... This one's, I'd definitely say, is, like, my second favorite. I'd... I'd honestly probably say... Maybe my third, actually. Fair. Because with Find Your Flame, it just gets that on me, and uh, the second one is definitely one of my most favorites when it comes to the vocalization. That's fair. I mean, I guess when you think about it, that, that is kind of they just get better. They just get better with each fight. Oh, absolutely, it does. Very. 
And he's down for the <clears throat> count. Not quite. I believe we still have one more thing something. that's happened. Just there one last punch. That's it. Just, yeah, no, I definitely remember my first Say time goodbye, fighting King Giganto. Piccolo. I remember oh. fighting this guy for the first time, and I actually didn't have enough rings to finish that fight comfortably enough. Oh, yeah, no, because you, you, you would have far fewer than what I had, and it took a bit to learn. And I remember for me, uh, I genuinely had the moment die. I remember I genuinely had the moment of, like, because I thought you had to pair... What the? Is oh? It reminded me a lot. I, I thought I had to be like Dark Souls and I had to parry at the exact moment. Little did I know that the parry in this game works more like a hold and like prep yourself charge. Um, yeah. So I, me I just remember that being a genuine moment of like me removing my own. That was a silly run. Uh, I just remember it being my Jeez, own Amy. like limiter removed when I realized, oh, this is so much easier than I thought. You get just, yeah, no, you're getting what you asked for soon. Yeah, just yeah. No, I remember my first fight. Like again, I I didn't even have the max amount of chaos, like rings. I I think I had like maybe two hundred, maybe um, less than that. And like at my power at that time, it didn't really matter. Like the, that fucker takes a lot of punishment. Yeah, I think it was. I think it was on my. I want to say almost out of rings, like maybe ten or nine. Yeah, so my look, first time. So judging from that icon, looks like I found all the sage interactions, but I don't think I found all the uh, Amy interactions. So I'm gonna have to. Also, for those expecting to be wow. us to be Ooh. super sorry for the rest of the game, uh, nah, the other islands have to have, have uh, say in otherwise. Damn it! <laughs> they were time. basically like tough shit. Time to start the process over again. You had your fun. Now it's time to go back to basics. Fun. <laughs> See you. Cool. <laughs> See you, Dragon Balls. I always love that line. But, uh, yeah, now we're on the second island of, uh, five, the Ares Island. All Ooh, desert. All desert, all the time. We'll deal with that a little bit later. But, yeah, at any point, you could always do this to switch back to maps. Looks like there was one cyberspace level I missed and a lot of Amy interaction. So, we'll go back and find more of those later. So. All right. Yeah, again, we'll, we'll do our cleanup, like, later on once we're pretty close to the end. So, yeah. Uh, again, I hope you guys are looking forward to this. Uh, have a heart. <laughs> have a heart. So yeah, again, uh, I hope you all are looking forward to more of this. I, I still think this is a very solid game. Um, so, can I do it? 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 Can I do nah, it? Nah, I, I think you're I think you're stretching yourself out a little too thin there, buddy. Okay. Thanks for making a dick. That's not okay. <laughs> it was at first. <laughs> Hype, do you have any closing thoughts for us as we, as uh, Sonic uh, Cyber loops some more? One seat. <laughs> we'll see y'all next time. Hey, it kind of looks like a 